What's up y'all, I'm back with another TCM related video and today we're gonna talk about the screenshots recently released by Gun Media. So the first thing I notice here in this picture is Leatherface is only able to carry 80 blood in his vial and Grandpa is at level four. And from the looks of it, I really think that Grandpa is gonna max out at level five. Just by the way that the meter is gauged, it looks like every slot is a level that you gain. And there's two confirmed ways to collect blood so far which is collecting blood from buckets and collecting blood from victims after slicing them with your weapon of choice. And if you're worried about grandpa's ability being too OP, you can actually disable him by using a bone shard on him to temporarily disable his ability. For me, the determining factor for me to use a bone shard on grandpa is gonna have to come down to the rarity of a bone shard and how frequently he can proc his ability once he's maxed out. Like, if he's revealing your location every 30 seconds or something like that, now it'll just be broken and you would feel forced to use a bone shard on grandpa whenever you had the chance. So moving on, we can obviously see that Leland and Anna managed to escape the basement and they found the fuse to open one of four exits on the map. So right here, I really think as a victim, you finally get a little bit of leverage and you're able to put some pressure onto the family members because you can kind of use a finished objective as leverage to buy time for your friends to get what they need to get done so they can escape too or you can kind of use it as a distraction for example on friday the 13th of the game when i was playing with my friends uh, someone would have the fuse to call the police and i'd have the gas and i'd purposely spill the gas so jason would come over there and then they they would install the fuse and call the cops so everybody could leave you know some kind of like that um, but who knows that's just speculation and that's why i can't wait for the technical test to come out and last but not least we have this gem right here man i think this is the best screen one of the better screenshots that they've released and you can see right here this is what i think the healing item is going to be you can kind of see the similarity between this icon and the inventory slot and the bottle right here on the red crate and on top of that you can see the victims are working on the second way to escape which is the pressure valve and it looks like it's in the basement so in order to get the valve you need to find it in a random location on the map and once you put the handle on the on the valve you can obviously turn the pressure to open up the exit but the exit will automatically start closing over time so it's best that you get there as soon as possible and the family members can turn the valve off to make the exit close faster see i really think this this objective is going to be the, the tricky one you know i feel like it could be the easier one to do because you don't have to do a mini game, but it comes at a price. And shout out to the Twitter user Grave who spotted blood leaking from Julie and pulling on the ground next to her, which is very interesting because if you put this into a gameplay perspective, if you're running away from the family and you're bleeding, right, and you hide behind a crate or like hide behind a couch or something like that, it could pull out from underneath you and kind of leak into their line of sight. And if they're paying attention, that'll keep the chase going, right? It'll take you out of your comfort zone because if the family members are paying attention, it'll make it easier for them to track you down after you juke them out. But with that being said, we got a lot of teasers this week and hopefully we get the technical test date announcement soon. But as always, I appreciate your time and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.